Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but uh, we're going to be checking out some cool stuff here. I ordered a pretty neat little device, as you can see by the intro. I'm kind of trying to start to revamp um, some of my, uh, some of my uh, stuff on my YouTube site. Now I'm using the YouTube One thing or whatever, so uh, I've got the site kind of revamped and uh, I'm kind of going to start doing a different format so you guys can comment below and let me know if you guys like the new format or how what's going on uh, I have a Raspberry Pi I have to show you guys today just wanted to show you I just got one in I got the uh, it's the the Model B that's what this guy is and I figured I wouldn't even open it until I show you guys until I show you guys it so this is the this is the Raspberry Pi um, uh, Model B or version B. What it has on the back here, we've got our SD card, uh, SD card slot on the back to how you load images and things onto this. Um, for those of you that don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's basically a very simplistic, uh, very small um, kind of full-fledged computer is basically what it is. It uses, uh, I don't know if this will focus, but um, I believe it uses a ARM processor, I believe is what that is down here maybe. Um, to quite tell you the truth, I don't know a ton about these. I just know that they are all the rage. I've seen lots of videos on people making these into um, old emulators like they'll make Nintendos out of these or they'll make you know like the old NES systems and things like that and basically it's very very easy to program is the is the whole key behind this little guy is that he is super super simple to program and the programming isn't uh, like uh, embedded systems programming actually um, from what I hear is it's more like uh, what you would do like in a Windows environment or from from the operating systems uh, standpoint so very high level languages um, also there's just uh, there's also um, expansions that you can buy for these that uh, that's what these little headers and things are for is you can buy all kinds of expansion parts for this like LCD screens and all kinds of different things that you can get for these so I figured uh, for you guys I went ahead and bought one of these I, I kinda can't can't take, tell you guys that you guys, it's, it was all for you guys I kinda wanted to play with one of these myself anyway so I got one we're gonna play with it see what it's like I also have some other good news I'll tell later but let's kinda get into the hardware that's on board it has an onboard HDMI port which is kind of cool so you can hook it straight to a monitor or, you know hook a DVI you know converter to it and do DVI if you want to it's got Ethernet um, I believe uh, I, I don't believe the other one came with the port already on it but I think there is a way that you could solder a port onto the Model A from what I've heard I haven't researched that but from what I heard the Model A you could solder an uh, Ethernet port on and get Ethernet connectivity but um, this one just comes with it already on board Looks like we got some USB ports um, for plugging in keyboards and monitors. Also, looks like we got um, an audio video jack. Looks like we got just the regular standard uh, RCA video jack on it, as well as a just standard, uh, I don't know, what is that, quarter inch? Yeah, I think quarter inch uh, jack for headphones. And then, like I said, you've got this little, you've got these headers that. Um, you can attach uh, different things to it. And it looks like, if I remember right, yeah, there it is. The miniature USB or micro USB port is for um, powering the device. So pretty cool little guy. Looks like there's another expansion header or some some something, some sort of a header. These look like flat flex cables. Yeah, it looks like it's some sort of a flat flex. You'll have this real thin uh, paper-like cable that plugs in. You pull this up and then bend it back and then you plug the little cable in and then you push it down and it snaps 
So it looks like there's a couple headers for whatever. There's just regular. This looks like maybe a two row, tenth inch spaced uh, header. And then, like I said, on the back, you got your SD card uh, reader, basically, is what this is. And that's how you load load images onto this little guy. So, cool deal. I know I haven't been around for a while, but I've, I've been very busy um, creating all these um, different intros and things because, like I said, I'm kind of changing up the format um, of our YouTube site. You guys have been such great support. I've got, you know, we're, we're almost ready to kick 600 subscribers. I just keep getting more subscribers every day, which is just blowing me away. It's amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, the response to this channel has been great. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys kind of a better quality channel now since I'm going to kind of get a little more serious about it. In fact, um, I am ordering a new uh, microphone so that way you guys won't have to put up with that old crummy one that I use when I do um, the coding and the and the hardware videos. So hopefully you won't have to put up with that too much longer. Um, I have got that on order. The next uh, kind of cool thing is for you guys, I've been going out on limbs talking to different vendors and whatnot, and um, I have gotten through a vendor, I'll reveal who it is and, every, and what it is and everything in the next set of videos once it gets here. It's going to be a while before it gets here, but I've got some other kind of pre-put together things that uh, I've kind of secured. Uh, with some help from some vendors and whatnot, um, I've gotten some some other another really cool um, thing, the device that we're going to play with. It's more or less along the lines of a already made board that we can just sit down and play with. I will, however, I will not scrimp on schematics. Um, I will go through the schematics of the boards. I don't know if I'll go through the schematics of a Raspberry Pi. Uh, more or less, it'll probably just be um, just how to interface with it and play with it. Um, but on the other uh, deal that I'm telling you, no, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to tell you uh, until I get to do a video like this where I get to show it to you. Um, I will, uh, I will have, I will actually go through the schematics of it and show you guys how it is hooked up. I just figured that instead of me having to spin a board and uh, do that, because as if you've seen my 500 subscriber video, we're doing a little more advanced stuff now. So I'm looking into more pre-made things instead of me having to you know, scribe a board and then solder all the parts on myself by hand and all that fun stuff. i uh, leave it to the, you know, professional board houses and professional assemblers to put all that stuff together for me. So um, I'm working on um, getting a few different um, pre-made things. And like I said, I'll explain that in the next videos once I get them. Um, in the meantime, I think while we're waiting on um, some of the other kind of more advanced things come in, we'll kind of play with this little guy. I figured that would be an awesome deal. They they just got these. If you want to know where to get these right now, right this second, um, Newark. Newark has some. Now, I don't know how long they'll have them because uh, there's been companies that come in buy 500 at a shot. And I think last time I checked, they only had 20 of these when I ordered this. And that was uh, at the beginning of this week. Um, when I, which was, let's see, let's, this is the 18th, 18, uh, let's see, it was like the 14th of April, 13, 14th of April was when I ordered this. So um, I don't know how many will be at Newark now. But and if you don't know who Newark is, um, uh, they're they're a big distributor. Um, but if you go um, onto my channel and my channel is a little different, I'm gonna try to create a trailer movie that kind of tells you how to navigate in it because we're using that YouTube one. But there should be an about. Uh, icon you click on about and then there should be a whole set of links there and Newark is one of those links and uh, it, it, I'll put probably it in the description too of this video just so you have it but Newark does have these right now I don't know how long they will have them um, I also know that spark fun electronics I may put their link down here has them as well um, I but like I said I think just for uh, they only get lots of like 20 so you'll have to you know, you just have to, to to be quick with it if you want one of these. So um, that's kind of where we're at. Don't want to ramble too long, but I got us the Raspberry Pi. We're gonna the next probably few videos, hopefully soon, um, will be about that. Take care, guys. Have hope you guys are having a good time. Hope you guys are continuing to code and to experiment and develop. And with that, I think that ought to do it. See you guys.